Hello, good morning. I am in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. I made it. I am currently in my grandparents' driveway. I am very thankful that they are letting me stay for the summer. Um, it's actually um, a little bit of time has passed. I've been slowly but surely editing my videos from my road trip. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about how much I spent on my road trip. So this is a little bit of a continuing series that I've been creating talking about how much I spent month to month living in an RV and just kind of comparing costs, talking about what I have been spending my money on and I figured that this would be a good inclusion because there's a lot of outliers in this situation but it's not uncommon for people living in an RV to take a cross-country trip. So. I wanted to kind of look at how much more this cost me than it would have normally staying in one place, it's like staying in an RV park in Arizona, which actually doesn't sound fun this summer because it has been very hot in Arizona. So I am very glad to be here. The weather has been incredibly beautiful and I survived the mosquitoes in June. So we are here and we're going to talk about money. For context, if you haven't been following along with my videos, I just drove from Bisbee, Arizona to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. I kind of took uh, the long way, I would say. Uh, I don't know if you would call it the long way, but I didn't take the fastest route to get here. I stopped in Ohio to uh, get some service done on my RV. So that is another cost, but I'll talk about that later. But yeah, let's just dive into how much I spent in each category. So I've kind of separated this out a little bit between categories that I would normally be spending my money on, things like subscriptions, things like Mercy, things that while they might waver month to month, they're not going to waver because I went on a road trip, essentially. I'm not going to be spending more because I drove across the country. So these first four categories are the ones that are really dependent on this trip. So starting out with campground fees for the month of May, which is the month that I was traveling in, I spent $742 on campgrounds. This comes with a, a little bit of a caveat because I spent $742 on campgrounds in the month of May. Before I left, I had already made a few reservations and so this number doesn't technically reflect what I spent in total for campgrounds on this trip. So taking all of that into account, I actually technically spent $1,117 on campgrounds, which is a little on the high end, but honestly to be expected and not too bad. The next category is a doozy, and it is my gas categories. This is the obvious one that I would expect to go up a whole bunch as compared to pretty much every other category on this list. So, on my road trip for gas, I spent $727. Yes, that's a lot of money. I am not going to lie. I am not going to sugarcoat it. It is way more than I normally spend, so... Let's look back on previous months real quick. Yeah, I usually spend less than $100 on gas each month. My next category is food, and I spent $162 on food. I actually did okay with food spending this month. My budget is usually like $200, so $162 is actually pretty good. I mostly stuck to cheap and easy meals to make on the road just because I knew I was spending a lot of money in other areas and because I just wanted something quick and easy. I had a lot of sandwiches and a lot of pasta on the road. My last category in the categories that I thought would really fluctuate when I was traveling was my travel category, which is basically what I classified anything touristy that I was doing. So paying for museums, for attractions, just doing a quick scan of what I spent money on. There's the museums I went to in Roswell, there's some parking. So $73 is 
I think understandable and actually not that much. I did take this road trip so I could spend the summer with my grandparents, but I also wanted to be able to go see and do things along the way so I could really enjoy my road trip. So some things were free, like in St. Louis I think I only did free things, while in other places I paid for things. So I don't think I spent too much on this category, so. Okay, we're moving on to part two of my spending categories, which is basically spending that doesn't necessarily reflect that I was on a road trip. It does go up and down based on other months of spending, but these were up and down independent of the road trips. So. The first category in this section is Mercy. Mercy, can you come here? She doesn't want to be in this video, I'm sorry, she um, is off napping, so we'll let her uh, do that. But this month I spent $179 on her, so it's, it's a little high. Um, I usually spend somewhere between $100 and $200 on her each month because she is a little bit of a high maintenance puppy dog. So during the month of May I had to order some of her medication. Um, this usually lasts me about six months, so um, I had to stock up and take advantage of the fact that I could ship it to my grandparents' house because sometimes Chewy is a little bit tough to order on the road, so it was nice to be able to have somewhere to send it where I know I would get it. The next category is my work category, and I spent $152 on it. Um, this is definitely a little bit inflated from past months. And it's mostly just due to some subscriptions renewing, paying for some stock images and things like that for clients. But yeah, I don't think there's anything more to say about it. Um, my next category is my health category, and so I spent $133 on it. This is my health insurance, and I think I also bought some allergy medicine while I was on the road, so I am including that in this category. Moving on to my next category, which is my home category, and I spent $87 in this category. These are just things for, like, around my house. Um, I bought some things from Harbor Freight, um, I bought some batteries, um, I bought a tarp, so I'm just including these in this category. The next category is other, and I spent $54. Um, I don't even know what's in this category, let me check. So this just includes some random items. Usually I include gifts that I buy in this category, so... All right, moving on, we have finally reached the last category of this section. So this category is my subscription category, basically just what I spend on subscriptions, so things like Hulu, Peacock, um, those kind of things. I usually like to rotate them out so I'm not spending too much money on them, and this month I only spent $22 on this category. I think we're doing good. I think this is a manageable amount. And moving on to my last section, which only has one category, and if you have been following my videos, you might have already guessed what this category is, and it is my tab service. So. On my road trip, I stopped in Sugar Creek, Ohio to get my floors redone. There was um, a glue failure or something like that. And while this wasn't a pressing concern of mine, I also didn't know when I would be back in the area. And this is something that I would want done by New Camp rather than a dealer. So I kind of bit the bullet on this one so I could get it done and get it out of the way, and I spent $1,071. But yeah, I think it was important to get done. Um, I think it's important to maintain your trailer, especially if you are living in it. So at the end of the day, costs like these are like owning a home, really. If you think about it, you have to replace things that break, and it's, it's just a fact of life, and it is a fact of life living in an RV, so obviously not ideal to spend this much on just getting my floor redone, but it is what it is, and I am glad that I got it done in the long run, so let's talk totals. So the total for the month of May for my road trip, this is not including the reservations I made beforehand, the total was $3,402. Without my tab service, it would have been 2331 which actually isn't too bad, all things considered. 
honestly usually spend in the range of $2,000 to $3,000 a month, so these numbers aren't crazy. Let's just put it that way. I think the cost was worth it because I get to spend the summer with my grandparents and this is also a very memorable trip. Memorable in a good way, not in a bad way, which is great. So I am lucky that I am able to lead this lifestyle. Not a lot of people in the world get to just kind of pack up and leave for the summer and go spend it in Michigan. And so I think I am very lucky. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, you sure you don't want to be in the video, Mercy? That's the wrong side, Mercy. Come here. Mercy says, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, I'll catch up with you on my next video. What's coming up is all of my adventures in Michigan. And then obviously I need to go back to Arizona. So we've got one more road trip uh, coming up. So uh, look out for that.